Hello everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I got some things from Sephora. I'm a little bit upset they didn't send me my perfume samples. But I got the Tartlet, the three eyeshadow um, palettes. And, oh, I am filming. Okay. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody. And I choose to believe that things are going to go A-OK -okay in the United States of America and everyone's going to go out and vote and it's going to be a great day tomorrow. I choose to believe that. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about politics. But just vote, 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 okay? Because even though I'm Canadian, you know, we care over here. We really, really do, okay? Anyway, I'm going to do a full face of Tarte tomorrow and play with one of these eyeshadow palettes. I'm not sure which one. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I've heard good things and bad things, but I really, really wanted it. And thank you to my husband for getting it for me. Who lost my keys, by the way. Even though he says he didn't lose my keys, he was the last mother mm -mm, who had my keys on Friday. Haven't been seen since. Lost my keys. And you know, I don't care about the house key or the office key. I care about the mailbox key. Yeah, so no mail today. Thank you, Mr. Mailman. Sent me a message. You have no mail. Thanks. At least I had Sephora. What I did get, another thing I got from Sephora was this mini Viseart. Viseart, Viseart, Viseart. I don't know how you say it. Little mini palette. It's really, really cute. It looks cute, but it's tiny. And girl, not cheap, okay? This was $40. Thank God I had the 20% off. Um, I always wanted to try one of these, you know, and I decided, okay, thanks to my hubby sending me money to buy it, I decided to get this one. And this is the Soltis palette. Soltis? Yes, Soltis. Petite Pro Soltis palette. Um, there was a pink one and a peachy one. And, you know, these colors are my jam. And we're going to play with that today. My mouth is so sore, everybody. Um... I don't know if you remember, I told a story, I'm terrified of a dentist and my teeth are in such bad, bad shape. I hate my smile, hate it. Um, and I don't like that word, but I really do hate my smile. And I've had such horror stories in regards to dentists and I have to go to a dentist. So we found one, um, apparently he's really good. I haven't been there yet. I have to make the appointment, but he's the brother of my husband's fire chief. So the chief's brother. And he's got gas and he's got a little blue pill that he gives you because I freak. I legit freak, okay? Because I've got, I've just had a bad time with dentist and my teeth are in really a real mess. Um, like I need a whole bunch of new teeth. And I know it looks terrible sometimes. I had a root canal here when I was like 14 that went blue. Like it's just in a big mess. Um, and it's a lot of money, you know. And we have insurance. But I need actual, I don't know, veneers or the ones that they screw in or something like that, right? Um I told this story before, but when I was a kid, growing up where I grew up, there was a dentist who, when you're poor, the government, um, like our health card here in, in Ontario, every province of Canada has a health card, right? And growing up poor, the government paid for your teeth, for the kid's teeth until you're like 13. So there was a dentist in my hometown who was who you had to go to to get that done. And every poor kid, twice a year, regardless of how beautiful and clean and good their teeth were, would walk out with like 18 cavities twice a year. And my family was one of them. Um, so I got holes in every single tooth. Like every single tooth had about eight holes before I was 13. So they're all real, but they're in really, really bad shape and just the experience of that as a child anyway this dentist lost his license because after i left home um you know my mom wasn't educated and you believe what a dentist what a doctor says right 
So after I left home, some years later, you know, people my age, you know, left in their 20s and stuff, started having kids and started questioning this dentist. Like, you, my kid does not have 17 cavities. His teeth look great, right? So they went to another dentist and got a, a second opinion. And then word of mouth got out and a lot of other people were getting a second opinion from another dentist. Come to realize like this idiot uh, been screwing over poor people in my hometown. So he lost his license. And um, yeah, I know a lot of people that I grew up with have really bad, if they don't have, most of them have like false teeth now because of this dentist. So I'm just, and I've been through so many dentists here in Toronto, uh, just, ah. So I have to call a dentist. They're really starting to hurt. So we're gonna do that. Anyways, I have to make that appointment. So I'm like, I don't know what they're gonna do for me. And then it's expensive, like we have insurance, but to fix it and make them all nice and pretty, that's cosmetic, right? You know, and who can afford that? I mean, it's like freaking $1,200 a tooth or something. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't know, oh man. I just wish, why can't dental be covered, all of it? You know what I mean? Why can't it all just be free for everybody, you know? And like I said, we have, he, well, Ian's got really good insurance, but not that great that my teeth are still in the shape they're in, you know, because we just can't afford to chuck out that kind of money, right? So, I have to call a dentist. So I'm going to try this new dentist and um, see what happens. So wish me luck. Okay, these are the shimmers in the palette. Where's that pink one? There's like this pinky shimmer right here. Can you see it? Can you really see that pinky shimmer? Maybe, we gotta try to find, put it in a place where you can see it. There you go. It's like, when I stare at it, it's pink. But I guess when you move it, it's, like a chromey shade okay so that's my story um but anyways I, like i want to i i can't wait to get it all done and get it all fixed um but i legit am terrified Ter i'd rather go through labor honest to god i would i am terrified so anyways this guy Apparently this dentist is really good and i'm like listen if you got a little blue pill you're gonna give me and gas me up you know, and his brother has already spoken to him, like, you know, they already know that I'm a little bit of a nutcase and um, I'm going to freak out. So hopefully we get it done. Okay, I'm going in with the very pale. We're pretty much going to use all the shades here on the bottom. They're all matte and we're going to figure out what to do with the shimmers, okay? So this is the Viseart. And I know a lot of you have seen this too on Sephora and always wondered, you know, is it any good? Because like Viseart is a, is a bougie brand. It's a luxurious brand. And I know a lot of makeup artists really like Viseart. So that's just like that nude shade. I'm just putting it all over my lid to set my base. I've been loving that Gerard Cosmetics Eye Base Plus Concealer thingy. Love this, love it. Okay, now I'm going in with the, I don't know, peachy brownie shade here. So yeah, how is your day? How's your Tuesday? Um, what do you think about, you know, everything going on with the election? Oh, I know it's all over the news. You go on social media and that's, you know, all I'm seeing on Twitter. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, right? You know, I just want, I don't know, best man for the job, you know? You know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see America have free health care like we do here in Canada, except for the dentist. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, well, I know like most of our health care is free. You know, like I know some people have to pay for, you know, some medications and stuff like that. Um, and you know what, I, 
I hear because, you know, I worked at a family, well, not at a family doctor's office, but my old office, we were connected with the family doctor's office. And I would hear people complaining, some people, not everybody, about, oh, I've been sitting here for an hour. I mean, that's happened in my office too, you know what I mean? And I'd be like, you know, I know it's a pain in the butt that you have to sit there for an hour, right? To see the doctor. But you don't have to chuck out $5,000. Like, one baby cost how much money in the United States? 10000 or something? You know, like I had my babies and I just passed my little card. Here you go. Like every other Canadian, you know? Um, I'd love to see that for Americans, you know? That would be awesome. Like, I understand, too, that we do not have the population that America does. I mean, I don't know how they would do it. Obviously, they would have to raise the taxes. And a lot of people don't want the taxes to be raised, right? Here in Canada, we got high taxes. Really freaking high taxes. But I'd rather have my high taxes and my free health care. But that's just my opinion. Everyone's Everyone has a right to a different opinion, you know? And maybe there are some Canadians who are like, no, I don't want the high taxes, and I don't care about the free health care. You know, everyone's got a right to their own opinion. That's just my opinion. But I think Obama was definitely the coolest president. He was so cool. He was cool. Definitely the coolest president. And, like, I don't know anything about legislation and laws like that in America or, you know, what it's like to be American because I'm not, you know, so I can't talk about the American experience. Um, Y'all can just get some really good subscription boxes and good makeup brands that we can't get here in Canada. That's for sure. You know, just want what's best for my sisters and my brothers who are next door because we're all in this together really right you know we really are okay now I'm taking the darker shade um, all right so this one is coming out a lot more than the other shade the other one was just like a really pale brownie shade the first one this one's coming out a lot more the pigment although I will say okay I'm gonna tell you the truth now everyone you see this shade right here right I have this shade in Natasha Denona and Colourpop it's like the pigment isn't kapow whereas I know the same shade in Natasha Denona and Colourpop you can see the pigment do you know what I mean the pigment here isn't like Bam in your face. Um, maybe it's, maybe it's not, I don't know, maybe it's not supposed to be like that. You know, maybe it's one of those build it up kind of things. Because I know it's like a makeup artist company, like a lot of makeup artists love Viseart. So maybe that's the point behind it not being like a pow and pigmented in your face is because it, you're supposed to build it up. Maybe. Somebody let me know in the comments down below if that's what that is. But it's blending. It's blending. I, I tell you, I'm going to be honest. It's not one of my favorite formulas. I'm, I'm, it's nice. Like, don't get me wrong. It's nice. It just looks really dry or something to me. It does, it looks really dry. It's almost like if I went like that, it would wipe off real fast. You know, like, I don't know how long the staying power is gonna be on this. Um, and I'm really surprised, because this is like Viseart, you know? But I don't know how long the staying pow pow power is. It's, wow, I'm, look. It's like it's barely there. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm really going in with this dark brown here. And you would think that it would be a lot darker than what is, 
coming on my lid like I'm trying to I'm trying to pack this on now to get some oomph on there is this normal like did I just get a bad one or I don't know I mean people love this brand right is it just the minis maybe aren't that great formula I don't know everybody let me know in the comments down below but I'm finding this to be really dry like really dry okay we're gonna pull a shimmer I think I'm gonna go with the second one maybe Boy, I maybe I should go with there's a darker one I'm kind of freaked out about this palette, to be honest. I really am. I thought this was going to be freaking fabulous. What the heck? I really thought this was going to be fabulous, everybody. And I mean, I'm no pro. Maybe I'm using it wrong, you know? But, no, I don't even want to say that because I use eyeshadow. And yeah, I'm not a pro, but I can tell when something's looking dry. Okay, okay. I don't know, everybody. What do you think? Do you know anything about Busy Arch? Or, like I said, maybe it's the minis? Okay, I'm gonna go in with that second shimmer. I'm putting it on my brush first. Like, I feel like I have to really dig down. Oh, uh, that is definitely not barely there on the eyelid. Okay, let me spray it. Come on, man, this is like 40 freaking dollars. Wow, it's not there. Okay, and uh, they're so tiny. My fingers are tiny, but it's so tiny to try to get my, like, I'm really, really going in here to get the pigment on my finger. Um, wow. Wow, Lisa. That was like a, a waste of a $40. God, I hope the Tarte one tomorrow is better. I'm going to do the full face of Tarte video tomorrow. But man. Like, it's barely there, right? Wow. I had no idea. Why wouldn't you tell me? Hey, couldn't you have told me to save my freaking money? Because I don't want to bring it back to Sephora. I'm scared to do that because I have so many people have... Um, I mean, this one here comes off a little bit better. So many people have brought things back to Sephora and then lost their account. Now it's fuck. Oh, I was about to swear. Now it's going chunky on me. I don't know if you've heard that or not, but I mean, granted, I don't know how many times they do reason. Some people say that they've lost their ability to order online. That Sephora's taken it away. Um, and some people say they only return one or two items, you know, I don't know exact extent of truth to that, but I don't want to test it out. You know what I'm saying? I just... <sighs> I wonder if it makes a difference if you bring it into the store to return it or if it's... If you do it over the count or if you do it, like, through the mail. Does that make a difference? Um, you know, that Sephora's watching people's account? I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to darken this up a little bit more. Like, it's a nice palette, okay? And once it's all said and done, it did the job. But the formula is definitely not what I expected. I expected, I expected like Natasha Denona, you know? Like, flip ColourPop even, right? Um, definitely not what I expected at all. 
And this is Viseart. Viseart is supposed to be like the Kapow Wow. Some people say, anyways. Maybe, maybe they're wrong. You know? I don't know. Maybe the mini palettes aren't that good. Wow, like, I just put that brown on it and it's like, it's not there anymore. All right, well. Busy art, okay. I don't think I, well, I don't think I'll be buying Busy Art again. Honestly, honestly, I don't think I'll be buying Busy Art again. I just put the wrong shade down there. Crackers. Right, very powdery. I mean, it did the job, you know. I'll put on some mascara. We'll throw on some Dior. I love this one, Dior Curl. Love this mascara. Put on some mascara and um, go about the rest of the day, which I have to clean out my... <sighs> There's a clump on there. I have to clean out my bathroom sink and I have to clean out my kitchen sink because we're getting new sinks tomorrow. And that's all gonna happen tomorrow while I'm at home working, lots of fun. So I have to do that, I have to do some work. So I'm pretty much gonna be working for the rest of the evening, you know. Work's over, but I'm gonna be working. So I gotta do some work and um, have some dinner. I haven't figured out what that's gonna be yet. It might be a skip the dishes night maybe. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to do the tart. Well, uh, that all depends. If I get mail, something to unbox, then I'll be doing that video. But if I don't, then I'll do the, uh, you know, the tart eyeshadow video. But that should be getting done sometime this week, right? like this mascara this is the Dior what's it called over curl or something if you see it on a Facebook page grab it for like five six dollars I really like it it puts a nice curl on your lashes really like this mascara okay well well I must say I am truly disappointed in this eyeshadow palette. I was expecting a lot more from Viseart, Visart. It's the Soltis palette. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, it's a cute little, like, it's a cute little neutral palette. You can make a look out of it. It's just, I found the powders to be really dry. The shimmers, not like your typical buttery, shimmy shimmery you know type formula um i don't know cute to travel with i'm debating whether i keep it or not you know do i keep it do i try to sell it i don't know about bringing it back to sephora because i'm scared about bringing things back to sephora now so i don't know what to do with this palette but i must say i'm really disappointed because this is supposed to be a bougie brand you know so sometimes i'm telling you right now sometimes the bougie brands are not all that great, not in my opinion. Again, it could be because it's a mini, I don't know, but sometimes you're better off going with the ColourPop, you know, or the Catrice over the bougie. Just remember that, you know, because I know a lot of people say, oh, I would love these expensive brands. Listen, sometimes the cheaper ones are better, okay? Like Maybelline could be better than that, you know? Okay, well, I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. I'm sure everybody is, you know, glued to the TV to see what's going on. Um, to all of my American sisters and brothers and, you know, unicorns out there. Um, I hope whatever you want to happen, happens. And just that the world becomes a better place. You know, all eyes are on America right now. And I just want the world to become a better place. Right? Bye. Love you. I didn't turn it off.